Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, you know I'm working on a project called the Big Motor Upgrade. And I thought we'd just get right into that. My variable speed unit. What I want to do is make a mount that swivels like this as a belt tensioner also. Let me bring you a little closer and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I come up with a few ideas here, some dimensions, and this is what the thing's going to look like. I've already started building the unit that will slide right in underneath uh, my lathe. Down here is the frame housing that's gonna hold my variable speed. That's what I have to make. As people know that watch this channel, I work from sketches. What I need to do is make a plate and bore a hole, drill and tap a hole. Let's get over to the mill. In the mill, I have a plate I have squared up. It's a half inch thick, 60-61. And first thing I need to do is touch off on that corner. That will be my X0, Y0. Okay, this is what I have in the mill. Uh, my plate, I'm zeroed right here, zero, zero. And I'm gonna move over to this location to drill a 5 16 hole. I'm gonna move over here five and a half inches. And drill another five sixteenths hole as a pilot for my uh, one and a half inch drill. All right, I've got an inch and a half drill in there, and I slowed it down to 190 RPMs. Let's try this.
That's a beautiful hole. Now I'm gonna try and bore that out to one and three quarters. I'm gonna try and take 50 thousandths. To tell you the truth, I don't remember if this is direct drive, comes out 50 if I dial 50 or it takes half. We'll find out. Thirty, forty, fifty. It looks like it goes by diameter. If I dial 50 thousandths, it comes, 50 thousandths comes off the diameter. That's what I'm gonna stick with, 50. Seven sixty-two. All right, this is my gauge, and this has to go through, and it does. The plate is just about done. Although I need to set it up for a rotary table, my pivot hole is in there. I need to tap this hole here, and. Uh, I still need to make my uh, pivot axle, which will replace this here. Let's go set that rotary table up. I have my rotary table set up with my part on it. I uh, indicated the rotary table for zero, made a plug for the plate to go into bolted it down and come off my five and a half inches. That's from center to center here, and I wanted to make a, a slot here. Let's get into this.
Wow, that was a lot of fun. I haven't used my boring head or my rotary table for sure for a long time. I got my part done. It looks pretty decent. It's functional, but uh, there's a lot more work to be done on this whole project. I still need to make my uh, pivot axle. I need to make a boss that goes in this side or a plug that uh, this bolts to. Uh, there's, there's a lot of lathe work and that's good. I love lathe work. Uh, I need to make an angle bracket for when I bring this to where the belt is tight, I can tighten it against there. But there's a lot of work. So I think this video is coming to an end. So until next time, enjoy.